What's up guys, I'm Zach and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be checking out Adidas Basketball's newest release from their basketball collection and range. With that being said, we're going to be checking out all the pieces throughout their range other than the t-shirt, which unfortunately I missed out on. I did originally pick it up, however, it wasn't um, able to be shipped to me, unfortunately, as it did actually sell out, which was the black t-shirt, which I was a little bit disappointed about. However, we did get to check out everything else in this collection, especially some of the most exciting pieces. Personally, to me, are the grey hoodie pants and shorts. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video, check out some of these pieces on body so you can get a proper representation of what this actual collection is and help you guys decide if you want to pick up any of these pieces. So that being said, let's get straight into the video. So first up, we are checking out the Adidas Basketball Long Sleeve T-shirt in black. Now, if anyone remembers from my first video on the Adidas Basketball collection, the long sleeve was actually one of the standout pieces that I thoroughly enjoyed. It was a little bit surprising because for me, personally, I don't really like long sleeves in general. However, I do love the way that this one fits and feels, especially in this black colorway. I think it's such an elevated and upgraded piece from the white or gray variation that released in the first collection. Of course, you've got that tonal branding on the front, which is my favorite part of the front design. Just got that Adidas black logo matted out. However, I wish they actually kept this throughout the back design because they do have the hit of the white on the back of the long sleeve uh, which does look great however i do wish that the adidas basketball uh, range would go a little bit more tonal i'm happy to get rid of all the large icons for me all the large icons are very reminiscent of the new essentials looks with having that big bold branding at the front or the back um, however this is something i actually want to move away from so hopefully in the next collection they will be dropping more tonal pieces with tonal branding on either side on the front and the back however i think this is a great piece regardless the quality is there you've got that thick neck collar hugging your neck ever so tightly it's definitely a structured piece it is heavily oversized something i said in the first video is that it definitely gave me adidas and balenciaga vibes and i definitely think this is most prominent in this first piece as it's definitely reminiscent of the Adidas Balenciaga long sleeve. So that being said, I think it's a great first piece. I think if you're looking for a long sleeve from Adidas, this is the perfect option. I would highly recommend this piece over the first one in that white or gray colorway. I think the black just works so much better. It's definitely flowy, super long, and it's definitely an updated and elevated look to the Adidas basketball range. So that being said, let's move straight into the velour pieces and something that actually quite surprised me. For me, unfortunately, I don't think I'll be keeping these pieces because I don't see them to be that wearable for myself on an everyday basis. However, I was happily surprised to see how the quality fit and overall garment it was in general. This is something that I thought once I got in, I would just say no to, I wouldn't enjoy, but something that I didn't actually notice on the website, and they do actually state it in the description, but of course, it's something I just completely overlooked, is that all the velour pieces actually feature a mesh lining throughout. So once I threw this hoodie on, I was pleasantly surprised at how comfortable and soft the mesh is actually inside the hoodie. And it also elevates the garment by giving it just more structure throughout. It's super comfortable, and I'm glad they actually did this, because I don't think wearing velour all day would be very comfortable, especially when it comes to heat. We'd definitely be overheating this piece without this mesh lining. And the mesh just elevates it and feels like it gives it a bit more of a premium and luxury feel, which is something that I believe that Adidas Basketball um, in this new range is trying to achieve. So I think they've been very successful. Of course, you've got that tonal branding on the front and you've got that logo on the back. Just for something to note with all the outerwear pieces, uh, from this collection, hoodies, crewnecks, and etc. They don't actually feature any zip pockets, which I was a bit surprised about because in the first collection they did. However, you are getting that mesh lining, so I believe they've dropped the zips for mesh lining throughout, which personally, if I was gonna pick, I would prefer the mesh lining in general. The comfort that it just elevates these garments to is just something of a new level, and it's definitely higher quality than any Adidas pieces that you're gonna pick up in general. So moving on to another velour piece, we've got the half zip sweatshirt, which I think was definitely a piece that I was highly anticipating just because it was something so different from the collection and definitely a new silhouette that I was excited to try. Of course, it is in that velour material, which means I won't be keeping this piece just to the fact that I don't think I'd be wearing it much. But of course, you've got that mesh lining throughout. You've got a half zip. Personally, I know that they say this is a half zip. It does feel like it's a bit more of a quarter zip because it is quite small, but I think it is just a great garment all around. This is definitely very reminiscent of Fear of God. I think this is a piece that really does show that Jerry Lorenzo must have had his hands in some of this collection, at least initially, because some of these silhouettes definitely feature a Fear of God fit, and this is most reminiscent in this piece. Now, this piece is super comfortable, and of course, you've got that velour, super soft touch with the tonal branding once again. Now, though I won't be keeping this piece, I definitely think that should they drop this in a crew neck variation or in a gray colorway, such as this in a cotton with the mesh lining, I think that would be a piece that I would definitely be keen to keep. So hopefully 
I'll be keeping an eye out throughout their new chapters that they drop throughout this Adidas basketball collection range. And hopefully that is something they drop in the future because I think that they will be definitely missing out if they don't do that. Moving into the final piece for the Velour outfit as a total, that is actually the Velour track pants. Now these do feature a bit more of a wide and straight leg fit throughout the pants, draping ever so nicely over the pair of sneakers, whatever sneakers you are wearing. Um, of course, in this video, you can see that they fit perfectly. They do drape over the sneaker. Now, they actually fit quite comfortably on the body. And of course, that is because these do actually feature the mesh lining throughout the body as well. Super soft, versatile, comfortable, and it just gives it a bit more of a structure fit throughout the entire pant. It's a great pair of pants. Once again, it is the velour style. This is all in the metal gray colorway from the half zip to the hoodie to the pants. Metal gray all throughout. Um, unfortunately, as I said, I won't be keeping any of these floor pieces. Something that I will mention on these pairs of pants compared to the other items in this collection is that, the, that this pair of pants actually does feature a pair of zip pockets on either side, which I do think definitely elevates the garment, giving it a bit more of a, a quality feel throughout, a bit more of a premium touch. Our zip pockets is something that I definitely appreciate throughout any item that I do purchase, as I do definitely agree that it elevates the garment and gives a bit more of a premium feel throughout. With that being said, we can finish off the velour outfit as a whole. We've looked at the hoodie, the half zip, and the track pants, which means we can feature some of the more exciting items from this collection and personally my favorite items that Adidas has released. So that being said, let's move straight into those pieces now. Just before we jump into some of those pieces, I just wanted to remind you guys, if you guys are enjoying the video, a like does go a long way. It helps me gauge whether you guys are enjoying the content and you want to see more from me or all the Adidas basketball range in general. So if you guys do enjoy the video, please like down below as it means a world of support to me. And of course, if you actually want to see more content from me in general in the future, feel free to subscribe as well. Getting straight back into the video, guys, looking at some of the more exciting pieces from this collection and some of my personal favorites are the heavy gray pieces that they dropped throughout this Adidas basketball collection. Now, as you can see, I'm wearing one right now. This is the hoodie variation. I've been wearing this throughout the video for one reason and one reason only is that it's super comfortable, versatile, and just the general look of it is perfect. Now, when it comes to heavy grays, there are lots of grays out there. For someone who's very particular like myself, I definitely like a very particular heavy gray. The grays I like are very reminiscent of the heavy grays that fear of god drops so when i saw that they were dropping a heavy gray that on the website looked very reminiscent to those type of grays i had to pick it up and getting it in hand i will say it does not disappoint now the number one feature throughout this garment and the featuring garments to follow is that it does feature that mesh lining again now i haven't actually seen a hoodie that features mesh lining at least personally myself and i must say i really do love the addition of it cotton is a comfortable material but the elevated materials of the mesh lining throughout it allows it to drape over the body and feel so comfortable to the touch i also think it somehow gives it a bit more of a ventilated feeling i don't know if that's just me in my head you've actually got that mesh lining throughout the entirety of the hoodie which means you're getting it through the body, through the sleeves. It just reinforces that price point as something that is definitely worth paying. I think out of all the garments that we've looked at today, I think the hoodie and the following pieces are definitely worth the price, other than one edition, which we will get into. But once again, you've got that tonal branding on the front, you've got the branding on the back there. And one of the details that I do really love about this hoodie that I don't really enjoy from other brands is the way that the hood is structured. As you can see right now, as I'm wearing it, it's very structured. It's got a very full feeling hood feel you know it's not just draping right over the back it's definitely a structure and that is because it is actually double lined uh, definitely a great piece if you guys are wanting to check it out this is the heavy gray hoodie from the adidas basketball range for the intended look i would recommend going true to size which means we're getting that oversized look throughout the garment which i think is the way that this hoodie is intended to wear so that being said let's move on to the next piece moving on to the next piece continuing that trend of the outerwear and the heavy gray pieces we are looking at the heavy gray crew neck from adidas it does have very similar detailing to the hoodie you've got that tonal branding on the front white bold branding on the back now, this crew neck is one of my favorite pieces that i picked up from this collection um, i actually mentioned that in the last pickup from the adidas basketball range in my previous video of course you've got those elevated design choices in this garment of course means the comfort and quality is quite elevated in this garment you don't have the zip pockets unfortunately which was featured in the first crew neck which was one of my favorite features in that crew neck and it's something i do actually wish they incorporated into these hoodies and crew necks but i understand that they're sort of mixing it up and changing the garments but hopefully going forward they can incorporate both the mesh and zippers 
in the future products. But regardless, I think this critic is a great piece, especially if you're looking for a more of a boxy silhouette. Very, very reminiscent of the Fear of God mainline collection feel, quality, and fit. I think it's a very boxy, very oversized in the sleeves, which I think is a great look. This is another garment I recommend going true to size for the intended look of that oversized nature. Moving on, we're looking at the Adidas basketball pants, which actually are my favorite piece from this entire collection. And it's just because these are so minimal in branding, so well executed in design. Of course, I have to mention time and time over again, you do have that mesh lining throughout the whole body of these pants here, which means they're just super comfortable. They do feel a bit more of like a track pant type material rather than just like a cotton sweat pant, which I definitely think elevates the garment. Unfortunately, no zip pockets here on these pairs of pants, which is a little bit disappointing, but I think regardless, it is a great pair of pants. And this is something that I will definitely be wearing on the daily. Once again, you've got that straight leg, sort of wide leg fit to the design, which I think drapes over the sneakers perfectly. I actually loved the way they looked with the Yeezy 700 wave runners that I am wearing on the feet throughout this video. Just the way they drape over and fit perfectly at the ankle. You've just got a tiny bit of stacking, you're not too much. Uh, which I think is a great look, especially for a bit more of an elevated, classy, sweatpant type feel and look. So I definitely think they executed these perfectly. And personally, this is my favorite product from the entire range that we've looked at today. Now, moving on to the final piece. These are the Heavy Grey shorts. Now, moving into the Heavy Grey sweatshorts, this was definitely the biggest surprise for me for the collection. And that's because the shorts themselves are actually quite comfortable, look great on body. However, you're missing out on the zipper pocket detailing. And obviously, that has been a consistent theme throughout a lot of these Heavy Grey pieces. However, you're not actually getting mesh lining throughout these shorts. So I'm sort of fused to where the value is for these shorts. They were quite expensive. They were $200, which was the same price as the heavy gray tracksuit pants. Now with the tracksuit pants, you're actually getting two times the amount of material because obviously it's a pants, it's longer. You're getting the mesh lining throughout. The quality of the fit in that garment is perfect and I can happily justify paying the 200 for those pants. However, I don't understand why the shorts at $200 at the same price, not getting the mesh lining and you're also not getting the zip pockets. So they're actually just a cotton pair of sweatshorts, which you know is disappointing because I think that these are a great pair of sweatshorts. They would need to cut the price at at least in half just for me to be able to justify picking up this pair of shorts. Fortunately, I won't be keeping it, which is disappointing because I actually really like the sweatshorts, but I definitely just can't justify keeping a $200 pair of gray sweatshorts just because they're Adidas basketball and I'm not feeling like I'm getting the quality that match the price of $200. I definitely think the quality is there in general for a pair of shorts that maybe are priced at $100, but I think Adidas basketball was definitely a bit unreasonable with pricing these shorts. Had they put these zip pockets on, I may be even able to sort of justify it and be like, oh, well, at least you're getting the zip pockets. You know, they've elevated one element of the garment. However, that isn't really the case here. These are just normal sweatshorts, classic pockets, nothing really elevated about these shorts. So unfortunately, this is the most disappointing product from the collection, which unfortunately was one of the ones I was most excited about. So I was most looking forward to actually keeping and wearing on the daily. However, that will not be the case. And unfortunately, I will be sending this back with the velour pieces. And I'll only be keeping the hoodie, pruner, the long sleeve, and have a great pants, as I think those are the best pieces from this collection. And I'm sure most of you guys watching this video are actually here just for those pieces. Now, that being said, I hope you guys really did enjoy the video. I do put a lot of work into these videos and I'm really trying to get myself out there. So if you guys did enjoy the video, once again, please throw a like down below as it means the world of support to me. Definitely shows I'm doing a good job and you guys wanna see more content from me. And once again, if you actually do wanna watch more content from me in the future, as I'm trying to drop a video at least every two weeks, feel free to subscribe down below as that also allows me to see your guys' support and keep me pushing out more videos for the future. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's very informative to you guys. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. I will happily answer any questions or queries you have um, about sizing, quality, comfort, or anything like that. So once again, drop that down in the comments below and I'll be happily answer any of your questions and input. If you have any feedback for me, I also love to hear feedback down in the comments below. Uh, thanks again, guys, and I will see you on the next one. See ya.